my name is Ore. I'm a photographer from Singapore. So my project uh, that's shown over here is called the Golden City of Botan. It's a part of a larger series of work that I'm doing in Laos. So um, I know in Laos, so I started off with uh, the high-speed railway train project, and then this uh, this story of Botan lies at the border with China. So border of China, uh, border of Laos with China, and this is the last stop that the train will pass through before it goes to China. So, you know, when I was there, people started telling me about, uh, you know, there's this town up north and uh, all, all of this is happening. There's like a lot of gambling um, and then the Chinese is taking over. So, of course, you know, it piqued my curiosity. Then, um, so I went down and to take a look and uh, it, that, was, that was my first trip when the casino was actually still operating. And then I heard that it got closed down. So I went back again and, you know, it just, yeah, it just happened like that. Yeah. <music> I feel that um, in order to make uh, photos and make uh, stories in countries that's not your own, you know, uh, somewhere foreign, um, it's just very important to uh, to remember that you are all humans. We're all humans, right? So, even though the cultures can be different or it can be similar, but you know, there are still things, universal values that we can relate to, universal, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that we can relate to. So it's with that that I feel it's you know, it. I think it's it's nothing wrong that um, to go and work at uh, somewhere foreign, um, but especially for in Laos, right? I feel that it's a it's a region, it's a country, it's a you know, it's in Southeast Asia, so it's a region that I feel that I can relate too so for me it's um, yeah I mean I, I didn't I didn't have any problems uh, working there at all do I have a strategy when approaching stories like um, the golden city of Botan um, I wouldn't call it a strategy but uh, I think it's it's more like just when you are at somewhere a place that you are not familiar with so it takes a lot of time you know you just have to spend time getting to know the place getting to know the people over there making connections either connect connecting with the people there or connecting with the place itself and then from there you know you just uh, it's just a back and forth uh, system of uh, how do you feel about the place and then getting familiarized with it and then you just yeah, you just shoot according to what you feel photographers, uh, different ones that, in, uh, that influenced me because uh, my journey as a photographer uh, changed a little bit along the way. So when I first started out, I wanted to do photojournalism and uh, you know, I look towards the work of like, uh, people like uh, Salgado and uh, the photographers for Magnum, you know, because their work was really good. So that was when, uh, that was who influenced me at that time. But uh, as I learned more about photography, my idea of it changed and what I wanted to do became a bit different. So I decided to go into documentary and, uh, and then I got uh, influenced by works of uh, Alex Sof, um, yeah, and people who and some of the Chinese photographers wh whose works were more quiet, a bit more subtle, and uh, not so direct. And it's not about news anymore; it's about issues instead. Yeah. 
Um, of course, it's an honour. It's really special to be um, the only female uh, winners, uh, winner in this award. But I don't think it's, uh, it's designed to be like... I mean, it's not like just because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a women photographer and hence, you know, my work win. But it's, uh, I think both genders have equal chance. I mean, in Singapore, um, I don't feel the gender gap as much as um, in other countries. So at working as a photographer in Singapore, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I don't have that much of an issue. Um, um, I just wish that maybe people should Mm, shouldn't really focus so much on the gender issues and, and you know like pinpointing that I'm a woman photographer I'm a photographer right I mean you would call uh, a, a man like a, a guy photographer so you know just treat us as equal give us equal chances and um, yeah I think yeah and then we'll we'll see more works it's actually very encouraging because in Singapore a lot of the women photographers are doing great work and we have a lot of role models to, to, to look up to yeah so it's a great mm, it's a great time to be a photographer in Singapore right now yeah trends uh, the trends that's happening in Southeast Asia now uh, to be honest I'm not really uh, you know keeping in touch with uh, a lot of the other photographers in Southeast Asia I mean what I know is mainly from friends right like what friends have been doing and what they're updating on their Facebook um, of course it's necessary for us as a photographer to uh, to look at works of the others but sometimes um, it's it's yeah it's just not good to, to spend too much time on it because you know you just do your own thing right um, a few trends um, I think I don't know, maybe people are just moving away a little bit from uh, the really hardcore documentary, uh, hardcore photojournalism work and they're giving, uh, they're giving themselves more space to explore documentary work or even conceptual work and it's great that you know we have all this, we have a luxury right to explore and to try different forms of work because you never know you know when you like when I first started out I thought I wanted to be a photojournalist but you know given the chance, given the space then you know I started realizing that it's not really what I want so yeah, I would like to. I would encourage you know people, um, especially uh, the young photographers who are first starting out, to yeah to explore a bit more before deciding on your career path. And uh, time time is a luxury. So while now that you don't have a lot of work coming in, of course you know it's you feel anxious about it, but it's also the best time for you to uh, to really explore and try different things and then eventually finding something that you that you really like and feel, you feel it's right for yourself um i would like to thank there's so many people that i would like to thank for you know for being able to be here so there's uh, first of all there's friends a lot of friends have seen me grown right uh, my journey as a photographer and they've been so supportive and you know giving feedbacks and also I, I wouldn't be here without them and also uh, friends who are not in Singapore you know friends who have helped me especially in Laos because uh, it's not an easy place to work so I need a lot of uh, support and, uh, and help from people there um, as well as my family right because uh, you know my parents especially um, and also to uh, the judges, right? The judges uh, for being so encouraging, and uh, I'm sure it's not an easy task, you know, trying to uh, trying to judge our works. And uh, also to IPA for organizing this event, and also to the sponsors for their generosity. Yeah. Thank you.